all right so welcome to a little video that i'm doing i plan to delete the footage because i couldn't really make a coherent video but instead what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through the footage and give my commentary on it basically i wanted to do like a how to build a gaming pc or something along those lines basically what i did i just bought a cooler and thermal paste and i i just went through installing it and cleaning out my system so that's what I did. So again, let's start off with the cooler. And this is a nice cooler. I went to Shopee, sort by lowest price, looked for the snowman cooler. That's what I went for, the snowman cooler. It's one of the best price to performance cooler, at least at the time of recording. I'm sure we'll have more cheaper Chinese cooler coming out. But this one was the best for the price and I got it and it's a sick cooler all right and then once you get your cooler you want to wait for your thermal paste that's what i did i waited for my thermal paste damn that's got a cool cool ring to it wait for my thermal paste but anyways uh, damn all right so now i had to tear my pc down a bit so i started off with the power supply unplugging the cables it's always fun depending on what kind of PC you have you want to it usually starts with the cables I think you want to uncable the thing and then I uninstall the old cooler that was on there and surprise surprise it had dried up thermal paste very dry thermal paste and got rid of that I believe I used some hand sanitizer and tissue and that was it um, I don't think I recorded that part and then I went to my GPU and what I did was since I had thermal paste, I wanted to reapply the thermal paste to my GPU because this GPU is a really old graphics card I bought from a friend and it's a 750 Ti. Great card. I got it for like 100 ringgit or less. I'm not quite sure, but it's, it's still a decent card. You can game. Well, it's not good, but it's it's you can game on it. I, take it or leave it you can game on it it's fine i use it it's 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 great it's more than fine so i dragged uh the graphics card pulled it out yanked it out of the system you yank out the cooler on the graphics card and that exposes the thermal paste that's on it and then you want to wipe off the thermal paste let me see you want to wipe off the thermal paste. I use some hand sanitizer. It would be great if you had some like isopropyl alcohol, but we don't got that here. We got hand sanitizer and that's what I used, god damn it. And you wipe off the cooler paste, thermal paste. <laughs> and then we'll go to the next bit. What is the next bit? Installing the cooler back, putting the graphics card back together. So once you've brushed brushed off the dust from the graphics cards cooler and you've applied and you've applied the thermal paste all right so here's the part where i apply the thermal paste and i screw it in i didn't really get i didn't really get that much footage because it's hard to hold the camera and do the things at the same time so i didn't really get that much footage but i got a bit that's why it's hard to make the video because I didn't really plan it out from the start. And then I am installing... No, I'm unplugging the motherboard. That's what I'm doing. Where's my... Where's my finished graphics card? Oh, there it is. So I put thermal paste onto the... I believe it's the memory. The black memory thing. Intending to cool the memory, but... If you look at the footage, the memory doesn't even touch the heatsink. So now I just have thermal paste on the memory. But besides that, the card looks lit. It looks new, dude. Holy shit, I'm proud of myself. It. I did a good job cleaning that card, alright? That card looks really good. It doesn't look like brand new, but it's still pretty good. And then you want to unplug your motherboard from your case. Unplugging all the front IO, all of that. Dust is going to build up in your case. And sometimes your case will grow some hair. Give your case 
a haircut, get rid of the slag tight, the slag mite, all the slag in your case, get rid of it, give it a good cleaning. And then put your motherboard, I believe I did clean my motherboard, I think I gave it a bit of a brush, a bit of a brush, a bit of this, a bit of that. And then you want to unplug your old cooler brackets and stuff. And it took me a while to figure out the cooler bracket thing on the snowman. Because it uses this AMD AM4 cooler bracket adapter thing. And I eventually figured out how to install the cooler. Basically, you just got to put the peg in and then you plug it into the mud board. And then you put the black peg into that. And that's how you do it. That's very straightforward. All right. Once you get the cooler in, you need to snap the cooler in. And I did a test fit off camera and it was tough. You got to flex the, the cooler a bit. And then I had to unplug the cooler where I kind of heard a snap, but it wasn't a snap. It was fine. All right. It was fine. And then I unplugged the, no, I really unplugged. I peeled off your CPU sticker thing. Put the thermal paste on that. Plug that cooler back in. You're good. You're good. And then you got to screw in your motherboard back into your case. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. So as you can see, there's a little bit of an issue. One thing I missed is one of the fans. I had to use all of my limbs to install because it has this little like rubber nipple thing. We have to like pull it through the case <laughs> and it was tough and to be fair this is a very old system so maybe the rubber is just showing its age or something but it was tough to pull that little nipple thing through the hole but um in the end my pc was working surprisingly after manhandling and mangling that thing like a goblin it works and that's all that matters in the end However, I can't, again, I can't uh, close the case because the side panel, because the CPU cooler is more, more than the PC. CPU cooler, more than the, the PC. So I can't close the side panel. Okay, yeah, forget about it. But to be fair, that side panel, <laughs> I wasn't even going to install it anyways because of the airflow. That's way too obtrusive. So I would have not installed a side panel anyways, but it, it's fine. Forget about it. It's fine. So yeah, that's a little thing. And then it did a little cool little epic shot of the RGB. I got a little bicycle lamp, plugged that thing into the PC. Oh, such a good looker. She's a looker, man. She's one heck of a looker. But yeah. It's, it's my experience with uh, building a PC at this point. <laughs> Alright. See ya. Welcome to Mobile <laughs> Mobile Legends. No. I'm going to teach you how to build a PC. Even if it kills me. Alright. So first, you're going to need a PC. 